Hello and welcome to the Winning Agendas coverage of Ikoria Lair of the Behemoths Drafts. My name is Jesse Marshall and I'm here with another terrible hand. Um, and that is somewhat frustrating that we are going to have to throw this one back. Because as much as I would like to keep it, I think it's probably a bit of a mise to keep the old one lander. Um, so we have two draws to draw land. We've got 16 lands and we've got 17 other cards. But if we don't draw land by turn two, we are in a world of pain. So I'm just going to mulligan and then keep this one throw back one of these islands. Cool, so that's unfortunate because that first hand was so sweet, but um, like even if it was two lands and take out one of the other cards, like the Chittering Harvester or something like that, it would have been a really awesome hand to keep. But, say la vie, we end up with a hand that is somewhat at the other end of the spectrum, but okay, our opponent's multi four. What is going on here with these mulligans today? There is something in the water. Okay. We'll get that glimmer bell out there. <laughs> Alert heed bonder, it is. Uh, at least our glimmer bell can block it, I guess. Um, and I think we'll play the swamp and play the slither wisp at the end of their turn. So we'll say we will attack them because I'm okay taking a couple of damage from them here, but I don't want to let their life get out of hand. Their life total, that is. Okay, Fertilid goes down. Slither Wisp out there. All right, not exactly what we want to be seeing here. But I guess I'll play the Thieving Otter. I'm going to hold back on the Lordrakis for another turn just because it would be so much nicer if we could draw a cycling card that we could recur with it. Um, or just really any instant and sorcery. So they've got the Great Horn, but I presume they won't want to attack with it because then if we have a removal spell it's not ideal for them because we can at least get through with the otter. So they do sit back and we will start to hopefully get a little bit of value here. Looter was exactly what we wanted to see to both get some things into the bin for Lordrakis potentially, but also get rid of some of this excess land. I think we're going to take five to the dome this time though, because our opponent isn't going to want to let us sit there and loot our way to victory. All right, well that's going to help. So we'll facet radar straight up, just see what we can find. And that can go in the bin. Uh, we'll play Boneyard Lurker on the Thieving Otter. over the top, get back the island. And then get in there with that. And I think we'll block with the Glimmer Bell this turn on the Migratory Great Horn. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. So much for that. 
Um, I think we'll still block because I think we've got the better long game here. And there we go with finally a little bit of value. Oh, I should, probably shouldn't have played that land. Um, so we'll cycle easy prey. Play the ominous seas. Uh, that's annoying. Should have cycled with two black. Because uh, now we can't mutate the Lordracus this turn. But um, perhaps we'll play the. Uh, we don't really. Maybe we'll take five. I think we'll have to take five this turn. So we'll play the ominous seas. Um, because we don't want to chuck the facet reader in front of the great horn. So we'll just say no attacks and end the turn. And then we will want to, at some point, be dealing with this creature. Pouncing great shark could work, but at the moment we're just going to take it. Get rid of some more land. And Archipelago works nicely. Uh, so let's Archipelago on the Slither Wisp. Hopefully, this comes off. Over, tap the great horn down. And then get in there. probably block with the looter this time if we can assuming they don't have removal spell and pump spell and kill us which would be very disappointing they mutate which means they get to get a land and then they get a 3-3 three, three. so in fact we may not block here I think we'll just keep our looter alive We'll just take the seven. Draw and discard the of one mind, which kind of hurts, but I think we need the Lord Dracus this turn for the archipelago ability. Okay, so Easy Prey will work as a cycle, but also to kill the elk or beast, whatever it is. Uh, so we'll Lord Rackers underneath, bring back of one mind, target these two. We'll cast of one mind. Nice. And then we'll be able to mutate the pouncing shore shark next turn. Um, but we'll probably hold that up for now in case they have another one of their untap abilities, won't we? 
in which case we'll want to make an 8-8. But the only way we'll be able to do that is to, um, yeah, perhaps we'll wait here. So if we mutate, we actually get to get back of one mind as well, which is pretty off the chain. Let's just sit on this. Um, we'll attack with the archipelago. And then we can bounce something and block something else. So they'd have to have an untap pump spell or a counter spell here to kill us if we were to pouncing shore shark. So let's see if they've got the counter spell. So no. Uh, we'll go under, tap down these three, get back of one mind. Oh, hang on. Uh, that was returning. Yep, and then we'll tap down these. Take that action. Take that action. Okay, honey mammoth it is. Uh, cool. So we get to make an 8-8 this time. We also get to draw two cards with this. Extinction event on evens could be nice at some point, but not right now. Uh, so we'll boot Nipper for a Death Toucher. We'll keep up easy prey, I think. No, we want another creature out there. So we'll keep up facet reader, cycling, and then we'll get in with archipelago. All good. Those two aren't untapping. No trample on the honey mammoth. And we can make an 8 8 next turn. Sandworm, all right. Activate this, discard. Uh, I probably should have discarded the swamp actually, but Lord Dracus is looking okay for mutates. Uh, that can resolve. Mutual destruction is also gonna draw us a card randomly, which is nice. And our Removing evens is not looking quite as good anymore, but that's okay. Uh, all right, so let's mutual destruction the boot nipper into the sandworm. Uh, Six, seven, so not quite enough. If we were to get rid of evens, I think that's probably fine. So let's just loot. Uh, cycle this. And rid of evens. Oh no, we don't want to do that. Oh no. No, we're going to lose our ominous seas. Oh dear. That was an error. K 
kept forgetting about ominous seas. Oh no, it's only creatures. Whew. Okay. All is not lost. Um, we'll not attack. Hopefully they don't have two removal spells here. Um, so what did we try? Traded. Yeah, I think that was probably good. Hmm. Although, oh dear. Perhaps we died to Glimmer Bell. Um, hopefully that will block. No block, but there we get to draw a card. Hopefully something useful. Please be mutator, please be mutator. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Possibly. Let's hope that it's okay. We could also play this to draw ourselves a card, but we can't do it until their turn. So what outs could we what other outs could we draw here? Another mutator, but we can't kill our own archipelago. Mm, we should have done this pre combat. That was not the best. All right. Just in case. Yeah, we probably didn't need to play that thieving order actually as well. Nope. Ah, forgot to make our octopus. Gosh, we are making mistake after mistake. Um, so this game should have been over this turn if I hadn't got quite so excited. All right, at least we get to lurking dead eye, so we're probably not going to die now. Whew. And we're definitely not going to die. We can draw some more cards. You better give me obligatory oops for our forgetfulness. Oh, I hope they didn't think we were oopsing them about blocking. Um, but thankfully, yes, we drew into the Tutoring Harvester to protect us anyway. But aside from the Muppeting on the forgetting to uh, take the counter off the ominous, counters off the ominous seas and make the 8-8. I think that was a successful demonstration of uh, the deck's firepower. Um, hope you enjoyed. I've been Jesse Marshall for The Winning Agenda. We'll be back with the next game very soon.